One of the things that we need to pay attention to is accessibility for people with disabilities. And so we want to make sure that we run that accessibility report. So remember, we can always go to Tools and find accessibility. We can find it over here. Um, I'm going to come over here to my accessibility report. And I can auto tag my document, auto tag form fields, run my accessibility report, and set alternate text. Alternate text is the text that would explain what any graphics are on the page. So the screen readers would say something like, there's a picture on the page of, and if you don't put any alternate text, it will just be blank and the people will have no idea what these pictures are. You can sev save the pictures as decorations if that's all they are and they're not important to filling out the form, but I like to put in some sort of alternate text for my images. So let's start there. Set alternate text. It's going to detect any figures that are in here. Here's the first figure it says and it's called English underscore tall underscore cup underscore RW. Well that's not going to help. So really this is the W KU Department of English logo and then I would save and close and it would find if there are any others on this page but that is the only the only logo there. I want to auto tag and it says the document is already auto tagged would you like to re-tag the document you can say yes and you would be able to take a look and see if these tags um, look like the ones that you want. You can identify your form field and you can run the accessibility report. I'm sorry, run a full check. And it says that we need to save it first. So I'll save it and then run the full check. And I start checking and I'm going to show things over here. It says that there are three issues here and it will tell me that the logical reading order needs to be a manual check. It's not something that it can do on its own so you have to do it on your own. The title failed it says so I can right click and say fix and it will fix um, whatever items that it can fix. And some of these click fix and uh, type, oops, we we clicked fix and then didn't type in the logo. Save and close. So um, then the last thing would be the reading order. It's going to tell you which items in the form field are going to be read first and you can drag and drop and reorder these as you like. I will also go into the prepare form because this will show me my tab order too. You'll notice that I can drag and drop these and put these in a different order if I think they need to be rearranged um, because they are not going in a logical sequence. When I add my own fields a lot of times the order gets messed up. So again I want to preview and hit the tab key to make sure if I click on the very first item in the row, oh, we crashed. So let's try that again. Under prepare form, I can click and drag these. After I click on preview, I click in the first one and I hit the tab key to just see if it's tabbing in the correct order that I want. If it is going in a funny order somewhere, I can reorder this by dragging and dropping um, under the prepare form. So that should help you with some accessibility issues with using forms.